This Alan J. Goody Bedside Medicine series video from the Georgetown University School of Medicine is about using ultrasound to find the meniscus of the jugular vein. We will use a linear probe to find the transition point in the internal jugular vein from plump to collapsible. This point represents the same point you would use to estimate the CVP visually. Start in transverse view near the clavicle and slide upward until the jugular vein is less plump and spontaneously collapsible. This is roughly the meniscus. Then switch to a longitudinal view. You will be able to see the transition point along the length of the vein. Let's see the transverse to longitudinal transition again. This has not been studied much, but in the small emergency room study quoted, ultrasound had a good negative likelihood ratio of 0 0.01 for heart failure. Some caveats to keep in mind here are the weight of the probe or just operator pressure can collapse a vein. And just like any tubular structure, thinking of the IVC here, measurements when not in the axis of the vessel can be falsely smaller or taper prematurely. This is just one finding though. There are many other clinical and ultrasound findings you could combine to improve your diagnostic yield.